Good evening guys. This is Dr. Stiggy Notes. The well compiled handwritten notes will be given here. And guys, if you are new to the channel, please click on Dr. Stiggy Notes and get subscribed to the channel. So you can access numerous videos which are less than 5 minutes. At least see one video per day. I have also created playlist for each and every subjects. So get benefited. All the best guys. Good evening guys. Welcome back to Dr. Stiggy Notes. Okay, today we are going to see about a very high yielding topic which is often asked in initial exam and even need PG. Initial has the habit of asking match the following type of questions with this classification. Okay. First of all as an overview, the Spalding classification is nothing but it is the classification which plays an important role in determining the method of contamination caused by the devices that comes to contact with the various areas of our body. Those medical devices can be in contact with intact skin that will be coming under non-critical. Intact skin, non-critical. It is safe. If the medical devices which comes under contact with mucous membrane or non-intact skin or the burn surface will be coming under semi-critical. The medical instruments or the devices which comes in contact with the break in the skin or the break in the mucous membrane or entering into the sterile body cavity or even the vascular system of the body will be coming under critical. Keep that in mind. Okay. We will be seeing one by one with examples. The examples are very important. It is little bit confusing but if you see this video it will be clear with you. Okay. Let's start. First we are going to see about non-critical. Non-critical is nothing but the level of microbial infection will be very less because these kind of medical devices or the medical instruments will come in contact with the intact skin. So examples which includes these are the examples of non-critical. These devices just comes in contact with the intact skin. For example, BP cuff, yes, it comes in contact with intact skin, ECG leads, stethoscope, probes like a USG probe if you are doing USG and thermometer. Here comes the question, if we keep the thermometer in the axilla, if we keep the thermometer in axilla, it is non-critical. And here comes another question, bedpan, if it is, there are two types of bedpans. One it is a steel bedpan and another one is a recyclable bedpan. Recyclable bedpan will be coming under non-critical. If it is recyclable, it will be coming under non-critical. If it is a steel bedpan, it will be coming under semi-critical. The same, if the thermometer comes in contact with the mucus. For example, if you are keeping the thermometer in the out of the patient it will be coming under semi-critical that's all with the non-critical now we're going to see about the next semi-critical before going to semi-critical understand one thing any medical instrument that comes in contact with the non-intact skin or the burnt skin or the wound skin and the mucous membrane will be coming under semi-critical yes even if there is a wound it will be categorized as semi-critical if you are keeping, for example, if you are keeping USG probe on the wound while doing USG, it will be coming under semi-critical. Keep that in mind. Even on the burned skin also, if you are keeping probe of USG, it will be coming under semi-critical. Yes. Now we are going to see the examples of semi-critical. Yes, these are the examples of semi-critical. First, transrectal ultrasound, transvaginal ultrasound because both has the contact with the mucous membrane of the body. Next, transesophageal echocardiography. Next, flexible, keep that in mind, flexible endoscope is semi-critical because rigid endoscope is critical. Next, as I said before, 
if it is non recyclable that is if it is a steel bed pan it will be coming under semi critical also urine bottles also will be coming under semi critical et tube comes under semi critical since it has contact with the mucous membrane vaginal speculum also comes under semi critical if you keep the thermometer in your mouth it will be coming under semi critical because it has contact with mucous membrane i hope semi critical is clear next we going to see about critical examples okay here in critical we going to see numerous examples critical is nothing but the medical devices which comes in contact with the broken skin or the broken mucous membrane or entering into the blood stream of the body or entering into the sterile body cavity all these will be coming under critical so i hope the examples has the value in it first surgical instruments of course next iv access even peripheral iv access or the central line will be coming under critical and the next rigid endoscopy since we are taking biopsy from it or it can comes in contact with the blood cavity or the blood streams next both urinary catheter and the cardiac catheter will be coming under critical syringes injections will be coming under critical any implants will be coming under critical any vascular ablation procedures will also be coming under critical this is the overall chart i hope you got benefited see you in next video until then peace